All right, man, let's talk about uh, Eddie Hearn responding to Devin Haney possibly going over to top rank. And he says that um, that's not the plan. So it's not like Devin Haney has not signed a long-term uh, pl- a contract with Bob Aram. He just going over there for a good time, not a long time. So let's get to it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live with our video. Eddie Hearn on Devin Haney signing with Bob Aram and Lou DeBella to fight George Camboso Jr. Quote, his plan is to go and get those belts, then come back. I want Devin to become undisputed. That was a very loyal kid, but you look came as uh, an opportunity like this. So, um, so yeah, the plans for Devin Haney to actually come back, all right, um, to the zone. So it don't look like that. Uh, it don't look like that. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to. Uh, be signing a long-term contract with Bob. And what it looked like, Bob just looked like he's the distributor. That's what it looked like. It looked like Bob is just the distributor, right? And they going to handle the production, the television, stuff of that nature. But it's hard for you to get options on somebody who don't uh, – it's hard to get options on somebody that, you know, you're not even – you don't even have a deal with Camboso to our knowledge, so – most people, you know, think that Devin, you know, I don't know, I guess Bob or Romer was going out there that Devin Haney was going to be signing uh, with top rank. And the rumor was he had to beat Camboso twice, and that, I think that still holds true. And then he'd be fighting Lomachenko for all the belts. But apparently Eddie Hearn is saying to his knowledge that uh, he expects Devin Haney to come right back over there. So, I mean, like I said before, I don't think Camboso signed over there. So, I mean, if Camboso announced the co-promotion deal, then maybe, you know, we start looking at it a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? But with the plan is go over there, it's great exposure for him. You know, maybe he might like it and he might stay over there. But right now, you know, Eddie Hearn don't seem to be in the deal. He seemed to go over there. And um, like I said, it's going to be hard for him to uh, walk away because Bob going to make him uh, – Bob's going to make him a really, really good offer. And it'll be interesting to see if he can walk away from all that money, go back to the zone. And he's going to get more exposure on ESPN fighting Camboso than he got in any single fight over there at the zone because, you know, don't nobody even know what the zone is. It's a new app. I don't understand why they just didn't buy a television channel. I know it probably would have been a little bit more difficult, but I don't understand why they just didn't buy a television channel and rock out that way. But it's always reasons why and why something do it don't happen. But, you know, at the same time, um, sound like Eddie is counting on him to come back, and I bet Bob have different plans because he want to put them belts in Lomachenko hand. You know, that's what he want to do. He want to put them belts in Lomachenko hand. So, um, like I said before, we we just see how it plays out. But Eddie Hearn is saying that he expects him to come back. That's what he expects. So. I mean, everybody seen waiting that he going to top rank. Don't sound like it. Don't sound like it. Don't sound like it. But who knows? You know, Eddie always lying through his teeth, so you don't know when to believe. Uh, when to believe. Uh, we don't know who to believe and when to believe it. When Eddie, when Eddie Hearn talking. Too many lies. Too many lies. But, you know, Bobby Aram going to make it difficult for him to go back to the zone. He is going to make it very difficult for Devin to go back to the zone. Very difficult. So, and that's what people that's what people going to have to understand, too. You know, but, you know, the zone was already complaining about him and Demetrius Andrade already. That's my thing about it. How you going to be complaining about paying people and stuff, and but you throwing all that money into Lomachenko, I mean, into uh, Triple G, and um, you throwing all that money into Triple G and uh, Canelo, you know what I'm saying? So, hmm, it is what it is, but, uh, 
you know, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised one bit if uh, I wouldn't be surprised one bit if uh, if Haney stayed with top rank. Because when Bob want to go in his pocket, he might complain about paying Haney all that type of money. But when Bob want to go in his pocket, he don't have no issue going in his pocket. He don't. So, can't forget that either. But right now, Haney is, uh, according to Eddie, the plan is for, Eddie, for uh, Haney to come back to the zone. That's the plan. That's the plan. But as I said before, what if he like being over there at uh what if he like being over there at a uh, top rank? You know, and then what if he come? What if he lose? What if he lose? That's something to talk about too. What the zone, you know, want him back. You know, with a pay rate change. You know what I'm saying? Because I heard the other day, Al want him to sign over there. So, Al might get involved. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearn just don't have the fighters to offer him. Now, we all assume that these fighters want to go out there and um, they want to fight the best. But that ain't always the case. These, these dudes might be looking for the easiest way, the easiest way to, mo- to the most money. So, we can't forget that neither. So, we assume that he, these guys, like people said, will tank a free agent, this, that, and the third. But we assume, we assume that Tank want to go with a big fight set. Not necessarily. A lot of these dudes like, you know, low risk, high reward fights. And that's why we ain't getting no big fights in boxing. That's why. That's why. So nobody know what Devin playing. I heard Al want to scoop down and sign him. You know, but you know Al want been wanting to find Ryan Boos in this for years, according to YSM Media, and that ain't happy. They ain't happy. So, you know, it's a lot of things that 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 uh that go on and that can happen. But I said before, he high, he win them belts, he's going to be a high commodity. And what did Eddie have to offer? Mm. So, I said, it's Eddie playing. So Eddie saying, you know, but, uh, you know, Gotta wait and see. So, I mean, I say he he should do his best for him. Our our expectations are these fighters to go out there and go where the best fights at. But politically, what I mean, with politic wise, what if what if it's a setup? No, what if the money ain't right? Excuse me. What if they can't promise you the fights that you want? And you know, he go back to Eddie. People gonna say, "Well, he ducking. He ducking." We never know what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe he liked the language. He one thing he know about Eddie, he know how Eddie rock. He worked with Eddie the past like six fights. People forgot forget when Devin was on the chilling circuit fighting in ballrooms and he was on Showbox. Al Heyman had a chance to sign him. Floyd had a ha- chance to sign him. They went with Eddie Hearn, and they went to Eddie Hearn because not only just because of the money and he eating very well. He went with Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn was showing them how to run a promotional company. People, people want you to come over there and be an employee. You know, nobody want to show you show you how to be a boss. Even though PBC fighters got their own promotional, you know, companies and shit, that's just a way to get them extra money. You know, like you know, Triple G promotion. How many shows Triple G promotions put on for real? None. Lions Zone that ain't the that ain't the plan right now. That's just another loophole to get them more money for fights. But Devin Haney actually want to have a real and functional promotional company. You know? So everybody want to get, you know, you know, they want, I want control. And he ain't willing to wave that control 
you know, to get these fighters. You know, and Bob Arum, you know, he he gonna he gonna make it tough on on Eddie. Cause he gonna show Devin Haney a whole bunch of money. He trying to show Tank a whole bunch of money. You know, and that's exactly what it is. But you know, we'll see what it is, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all the notifications, free your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, check out the boxing news playlist. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app dollar sign CJ Good three one three. Venmo, CJ, good, 313, PayPal, link in the description. Best way to donate. Just, uh, comment, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe buttons, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase chance in case we go live, drop a video. Let me know what you think in the com comment section. Uh, one time for the one time. Good fella, TV, peace.